Hey guys, Dow Phoenix here. Uh, just doing a little test recording to see how uh, my new phone's camera will work out. Um, anyways, I'm heading back home right now. Just had a little family function on my wife's side that we, um, you know, I took care of and everything. And uh, so, anyways, um, I wanted to get on here because I wanted to talk about the Humble Indie Bundle. Uh, you know, humblebundle.com. And their latest bundle, which of course is for THQ games, which uh, you know a lot of people are bitching about because you know it's not indie games and you know all that good stuff. Which I mean, yeah, whatever, you know that's fine. But some people will be like, you know, saying that they're going to refuse to back a bundle because it violates the core principles of the bundle, which I mean is just retarded because. If you really think about it, the core principle of the Humble Bundle is to give to charity. You know, it's uh, that, that is the core principle. Anything else that they uh, do is, is just kind of like the extra stuff. So when these people would bitch about, for instance, that the THQ Bundle um, is only for Steam codes, you don't get any um, Linux versions or Mac or, you know, it's not DRM free. Um, that's just stupid, okay? It's stupid not to back it for that reason. Um, you know, and if you really are upset at uh, THQ or the Humble Bundle people, then just make all your donation to charity. Um, you know, they've got American Red Cross now because some people like Samuel to the Geek uh, thinks that uh, Child's Play is a shitty charity. So they... Um, they added something else, you know, something maybe he won't bitch about, you know, and several other people. Uh, I really don't see a reason why someone would bitch about the Humble Bundle. It's the fucking Humble Bundle, you know. It's like the most charitable thing as far as video games goes nowadays, you know. Um, because video game companies, honestly, are really greedy. And they just love to fucking... Um, you know, charge you out the ass for everything, you know, even if it's a game that's free, you know, it's only free to a degree, you know, you know what I mean, like, I mean, some of the free-to-play games are more expensive uh, than actual video games when you get down to it, you know, um, but yeah, I mean, the Humble THQ bundle, it's got some great games, uh, THQ is going out on a limb and saying, hey, you know, we're going to trust everybody. Uh, is going to, you know, do a good thing, you know, they're going to pay, like, a good price, and they're going to, you know, do a good distribution of funds, you know, um, you know, I know THQ is going to get some money out of this, you know, it's pretty obvious, but, yeah, the, if you haven't, uh, caught up too much lately with them, they kind of got, uh, close to going default on their Wells Fargo loan, they got an extension until January, they got to raise money for it, you know. Uh, yeah, they had WWE 13 recently, but um, at the same time, the licensing fees for that series is high, so most of the money they make on that game has to go to WWE anyways. Um, so, yeah, they're kind of relying on this Humble Bundle um, as well as the recent Steam sales to, you know, pick up the slack and revenue, you know, to keep the doors open so that they can release games like Cubby of Heroes 2 and Metro Last Light and South Park and The Stick of Truth, and hopefully those games will do good enough. Um, if my fellow gamers are smart, yeah, those games are going to get sold pretty good, you know, because THQ makes some solid games. Um, you know, I, I really stand by that, you know, like, they're one of the best publishers out there right now. Um, but, you know, most of my fellow gamers love to buy shit from Activision or EA. And you can tell, you know, I mean, the games are usually the same. You know, I mean, they, they really don't make much of an improvement at all. So, yeah. Um, yeah, just back to Humble Bundle. You know, I mean, if you're going to be pissy about the fact that, oh, it's not Linux games or some shit, well, just give it to charity, you know. It's not right for you to deny a charitable donation to Child's Play or American Red Cross just because you have some kind of personal vendetta against Humble Bundle for breaking their principles and you have some kind of vendetta against, uh, you know, publishers like THQ over, like, indie publishers. So, 
yeah, anyways, um, that's all I got to say for now. Uh, so with that, guys, Down Phoenix out.